Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Google has recently announced a change to its advertising policies that apparently will allow advertisers to use digital fingerprinting. And this is all starting on the 16th of February this year. Now, this is all according to the Google Marketing Platform help page where this announcement was made um, in December of last year. And there's quite a bit going on in this announcement, so I'll leave it linked in the description. But I'm just going to skim over the highlights for the purpose of today's video. Now, in case you're unaware what digital fingerprinting is all about, um, digital fingerprinting is a unique digital identifier containing information about the user's browser and the device they use to access a site in question. And companies use digital fingerprinting to identify and track internet users. So obviously, this raises a bit of a privacy red flag. Now, if we head back into the announcement, here's the important paragraph. So if we just head down to this, it says, the updated policy clarifies and centralizes how we prohibit certain activities to better protect users, such as not allowing ads that simulate operating system warnings with the intention of deceiving users. Now, here's the important part. The policy also updates the requirements for our partners on the use of data signals. So that's the important bit for the purpose of today's video. Now, the digital fingerprinting tracking technique works in basically three main ways. It collects information without your consent. The data is stored remotely, not on your actual device. And unlike cookies, that can be deleted at any time by you know deleting your browsing history as an example digital fingerprint data cannot be deleted so that's the three main ways how this uh, tracking technique technique actually works now of course um this has raised some red flags and the uk's information commissioner's office apparently has been one of the first to react to this announcement by Google stating that businesses do not have free reign to use fingerprinting as they please, quote unquote. So why is Google doing this? Basically, Google has said that two advertising ecosystem shifts have happened in recent time. Number one, advances in privacy enhancing technologies. And number two, the rise of ad supported devices and platforms. So that's the reason why um, they have announced now that they are um, going to allow advertisers to use digital fingerprinting starting in February as mentioned. Go check the article out. There's a lot more in that post. Now, from your side, what can you do about this? Now, obviously, the first thing you can do is you can use a content blocker or an ad blocker um, that can work against many forms of fingerprinting. And secondly, some browsers, as an example, Brave and Firefox, and I would actually recommend Brave in this case, come with fingerprinting defenses that make it harder for companies to track you using fingerprints. And I think Brave is very good at that. And it's got a good couple of settings in its privacy and security side. So if you are using Brave, go check that out. Now, something else um, just to take note of is that you can test your browser's anti-fingerprinting protections or the lack thereof by heading over to this website cover your tracks and I'll leave this link down below as well and then what you do is you can just test your browser and this can take a good couple of seconds so I'm just going to let that run and there we go yeah our tests indicate that you have strong protection against web tracking so blocking tracking ads yes blocking invisible trackers yes protecting you from fingerprinting which is the point of today's video it says your browser has a unique fingerprint, which isn't actually that good. Okay, and it says your browser fingerprint appears to be unique among the 194 odd thousand tested in the past 45 days, at least 17.57 bits of identifying information. Okay, so that's what is estimated that your browser has a fingerprint that conveys at least that amount of identifying information. Now, just on a side note, when I did the same test in my Brave web browser, it also blocked tracking ads, it blocked invisible track trackers, but it said with my default settings in Brave, it said your browser has a randomized fingerprint compared to Chrome's, your browser has a unique fingerprint. And basically the difference was that um, 
although sophisticated adversaries may still be able to track you to some extent, randomization provides a very strong protection against tracking companies trying to fingerprint your browser. Now, that's using Brave's default settings. So even with Brave's default and Chrome's default, Brave a lot better at obviously um, blocking and preventing digital fingerprinting. So I thought this was interesting. Go check the article out, as mentioned. And uh, um, obviously, if you are concerned about privacy, which I know a lot of you are, just wanted to put this out there if you would be interested. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.